Good morning, Christ the King family, and welcome to our Monday morning devotions. And I don't generally um, do my devotions from the sanctuary, but here we are today because um, for the month of July, Pastor Jay and I will be answering um, some of the questions that were asked for our question sermon series that didn't necessarily make it into the actual sermon. So, I'm here today to answer the question, why do Lutherans sit in the same seat no matter how many people are in worship? I laughed really hard when I first heard this question. I thought it was really funny, and I had to be the one to answer it. Um, first of all, this is an everyone phenomenon. This is not a Lutheran phenomenon. Um, People will talk about back row Baptists, um, Methodists are known to have a seat. I was even asked to move out of a seat um, when I was the new youth minister at a Methodist church. Uh, so yeah, people are really particular about where they sit. And I'm actually sitting in what would have been my seat as a kid, which was the um, second row. So we had a place to lean. Um, on that first row uh, on the pulpit side so that there was nothing in between my four-year-old self and the pastor up in the pulpit. And when we would walk into church and there would be a visiting family in our row, we would stand in the back frozen and have no idea what to do uh, or where to sit or where to go. And that sounds silly uh, in our heads. We know it sounds silly, but it happens and it happens very frequently. And there's actually psychological reasons for why it happens. Um, it's a phenomenon called territoriality. It's a really fun word to say, but it means that we're territorial people. Um, if you like to sit on the same side of an airplane every time, or if you prefer the same place at your regular restaurant, these are all territorial things. Um, and church is no exception. Um, when I was in seminary, uh, we would have weekend retreats, which is how we'd have our classes. We would do online, and every six weeks we would go to Memphis to have our classes. And every morning, I would make the rounds amongst our seminary cohorts, and I would ask who wanted coffee from Starbucks. And I can personally transport 16 Starbucks cups in my car by myself. Uh, and everyone thought I was so sweet for going on these Starbucks runs for everyone. And um, I was sweet, but the real reason I did it was because I would get to the seminary first with all the coffee, and then I could get my seat, and I could sort of decide where I thought everyone else should sit. <laughs> so that's my own little story about being territorial. But the reality of why we're territorial is because it means we don't have to expend our mental energy dealing with the environment around us if we can just sit where we know we're going to sit. If we have to pick a new seat, we have to also then engage with other people. We might sit in someone else's seat and then they might talk to us, they might look at us. Um, that's, that engagement can cause anxiety and make us nervous. Um, and that, again, might sound silly, but it's real. Uh, and so that's generally why people like to sit in the same seat, is it means they don't have to expend their mental energy dealing with environmental changes. My suggestion for this is to uh, prepare yourself for worship. Before you walk through those doors, take a deep breath in the atrium. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and know that when you get in there, you may have to deal with the environment around you, and it's gonna be okay. Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about everything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So if it makes you nervous to come in and sit in a new place, give that up to God. Um, it sounds simple, might not be as simple as it sounds though. Uh, I pray that uh, we can all laugh about this, uh, but also think about what it might be like to be a visitor coming into a new space um, and dealing with your own anxiety of navigating that environment, but also everybody else's anxiety who already exists within the environment. Have a great day, everyone, and have a great week.